All right, everyone, my next guest is no stranger to this show. You know him from Netflix's Queer Eye. And guys, guess what? He is heading to the next chapter in his career, a big one this time, with his very own talk show. Anyone who has seen Queer Eye and and seen him talk is like, get this guy a show already. Well, they did. And I am pumped because we have that in common now. We got these shows going on. So cool. And I know he's excited, and I'm so excited for him. So without further ado, Karamo Brown, welcome back to the show. Hey, love, how are you? Good to see you. I'm good. I'm good. Congratulations on the TV deal. This is epic and so well deserved. So, first, set it up for us. When did you get the call? Where were you? How'd you know this was happening? The process? Uh, I need to know all the things. In 2020, in the middle of the pandemic, they said, hey, we would like to start talking to you about maybe giving you an opportunity to have your own show one day. And I was like, what? What I got to do? Um, I ain't leaving my house because it's COVID. But as long as I don't got to do that, we're fine. And they said, we just want to start talking to you, seeing if, you know, where your interests are, what you want. And we just started talking about, like, what I love to do, which is since high school, just help people you know what I mean um partly I'm nosy as hell so I like to be in people's (laughs) business but I once I'm in their business I want to help them and that's what I've been doing all my life on Queer Eye everything and so they were like okay we like that let's see if you can actually sit in the seat and so they were like we're gonna put you on Maury a couple of times and see if like you can handle it we're gonna throw you to the wolves you're just gonna see um and I was like I was like baby I'm prepared for this okay like I am prepared I am ready God has aligned me for this moment, and each taping went well. Um, I didn't lose any of Maury's viewers. I actually added some, and then all of a sudden, like a couple of weeks ago, they were like, we want to give you the official pickup for a talk show, and I cried and cried and cried Aww. and then fell asleep and cried some more <laughs> and cried some more, um, and so that's literally the process. I love it. Well, well- You mentioned it, but the work you and the rest of your co-hosts contribute to on Queer Eye is remarkable and so moving. I cry almost every single time, every episode. You all just took on the legacy of the throwback version and effortlessly just maintained the integrity of that show and its message. But you specifically, um, when you sit down and you think about this daytime slot, what messages do you want to focus on with your show? Well, it's a lot of what I was pushing for on Queer Eye, to be honest with you. So, like, the you know, I've talked about this before. The original Culture Guy didn't do what I do on the show. Like, I have, I talk about the mental health. I talk about, you know, what's going on in real relationships. You know, we had a guy on season four who was in a wheelchair because he was shot by a man, you know, through who he never met. And when the guy got out of prison, I put them together to heal. That's usually not Queer Eye type content. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like It's yeah. usually like more fluffy of it. But I was like, that's reality. That's what goes on. And so for me, it's the same thing with my show. Like, I want to be able to help real people who are in real situations get through them, whether it's with your friends, with your families, with someone you don't know. Like, we need to get over it. You know, um, if, if, if there's a woman that's in an abusive relationship and we know the guy is gaslighting her it's like let's figure this out let's talk about this and let's call it out let's call it what it is and let's help you to elevate your life because at the end of the day when i was growing up i had a lot of things that i went through from from abuse in my household my mother and father my father used to beat my mom um i used to feel isolated and alone feel bullied because i was openly gay early on at 15 There was so much that I was going through and I just didn't have an outlet, especially as being an African-American man. I just didn't know where to go for help. And I'm hoping to create a destination where people can come and have fun, where they can be a little nosy watching people's lives. But at the end of the day, they're going to be like, you know what, that's going on with my sister. And wow, we solved it. You know, the beauty of what Queer Eye did for me is it taught me how to solve problems very quickly. And so I don't need two days to solve your problems, girl. You sit down, we're going to figure it out, and we got it. <laughs> oh, I love it. There's like, yeah. it's going to be Karamo, Queer Eye, a little Ayanla in there. Okay. It's gonna be all the- <laughs> well, not, I'm not, not, not Ayanla. I love Ayanla, but she, she'll cuss you out. And I'm not cussing nobody out. We about to have that's fun, true. okay? That's true. That's true. That's true. She's like my auntie. She will cuss you out, girl. I'm coming over here to have a kiki. <laughs> And solve your issues, okay? I love it. So where where does this put you with the Fab Five, with the quintet? I mean, we saw that that down south season that was just so amazing that you guys put out and and um there is 
you know, just so much momentum there as well. So how does this how does this work into the schedule? Oh, it's it's not going anywhere. Um, each of us have, have been blessed to have uh, do other projects. Um, yes, mine is a daily show, but we have worked it out. I do not want to leave those four yahoos for anything. You know, I'm a big <laughs> believer when God blesses you with such an amazing opportunity, you don't look that in the, in the you know, that gift horse in the mouth and say, oh, like, I'm moving on to something better. You know, because I think we have that, that whole idea of like, well, look, there's something better, so let me leave this. And it's like, no. I have the energy and the space and time to do both. And so as long as they keep um, asking us to come back (laughs) or keep being with the Fab Five, um, we're starting the next season very soon, um, which I'm very excited about because when we were just together for the Country Music Awards, it felt like... It felt like butter, like warm butter, how we melted into each other. And I'm just ready for us to get back. And um, I'm telling you, if they say season 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, you can count me in for 8, 9, 10, (laughs) 11, 12 while I'm doing my talk show because they're they're aligned. So if anyone likes Queer Eye, they're going to like my talk show. And so why would I give up one for the other when I'm doing the work on both in different spaces? Yeah, and Queer Eye is beautiful. It's just beautiful work being done. So yes, Thank thank you. Thank, Thank you, you for bringing that up. Uh, <laughs> on the personal front, what is going on? This is a lot. This is a busy schedule you are signing up for. Um, and, and will that play into this show at all? You've always been open about just everything, your, your relationships and, and, and moving on, dating, all of that. So, one, how are you doing on that front? And will that bleed into the show at all? Yeah, you know, I'm an open book. I, I think that the authenticity of, like, people that I respected and looked up to, like Oprah... Um, like Montel, is because those individuals, Ricky Lake, they brought their whole self into the story and they didn't hide. You know what I mean? I still remember those moments of like Oprah talking about like, you know, her being, you know, um, molested and like how impactful it was for the conversation. And I'm not leaving, if I leave me at home, then I'm leaving a large part of the show at home because my experiences matched with my training allows me to be like, oh, I know what you're going through. I get it. I see it. And so, no, I'm bringing myself. I'm going to talk about, (laughs) I'm going to talk about my business, which my man and my children are probably not going to like and my sisters are not going to like, but it's just what it is. Um, They're used to it after all these, since since real world, I've been talking about my business. Um, And on the home front, I'm happy. My my son is good. I've been in a relationship now with a guy for a year. Um, His name is Carlos. Um, Yay. Yes. Um, and it's going it's going great, you know. I ain't complaining, you know. I am not complaining. And I love your shirt as well. I wear this shirt because the reason that I am the man I am today and the reason that I have this talk show, the reason that I feel clear in my purpose, the reason I'm empathetic, the reason that I feel driven is only because of black women. I'm the youngest of four sisters. My mother raised me. Uh, my aunts raised me. Um, black women have so much pressure on. I see you. I acknowledge what you are doing because you make it look easy. And as I celebrate you, I also want to celebrate, girl, I understand what you are going through. And through your strength and through everything you've done is why literally I have the opportunity to be here. And I, I, I say that constantly. Like, I am in the position uh. I am because of black women who have guided me to be here and I can tell you this on my show there will not be any daytime TV disrespecting black women I love it because let's be here very real for it there's always been a, a history of daytime TV taking black stories and not disrespecting the stories but like making it seem clownish I don't have time for that anymore you know like we have to make sure that we are all on an equal playing field and also for me is that we're highlighting and elevating black women for the queens and the sh- the, the 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 empathy and the vulnerability and the love that they are Oh my goodness. So that's just a little side note, just, side note. Just amazing. I cannot <laughs> wait. This is so exciting. I am so happy for you. You have thank just filled you. my cup for the day. Thank Mama, you. Mama, thank you so much for being on. Thank you. I'm excited. Anytime. Anytime. 